I'm Lindy England. <laughs> uh, I was the face of the um, prisoner abuse scandal back in 04, and now that it's been five or six years later, uh, decided to put a book out. I'm just trying to let people understand more or less that I wasn't actually involved in anything other than being in the pictures. It, it's just like a really sad love story, really, because, you know, if it wasn't for Grainer, like I said, I wouldn't have even have been over there in that section. And I didn't want to be in the pictures, any of them. And I told them that, you know, I was like, no, I'm not going to go over there and stand by this guy or do this or that. And what does he do? He pulls the old if you love me, you'll do this. I'm sorry I was in the picture. I'm sorry I was posing in the picture, you know, there. You know, I'm sorry that that had to, that that happened to them. I would just hope that people realize that I'm, I am a human being and, you know, people make mistakes. People ask me, like, do I regret anything that happened if if I could go back and change something, uh, what would it be? Well, I I'd have to say I, I wouldn't change anything because you know, a I joined the military. I met Grainer in the military. If I wouldn't join the military, I wouldn't met Grainer. If I wouldn't met Grainer, then I wouldn't have Carter. You know, I've always thought about like changing my name and changing his name legally. But, you know, my, my face is what's recognized. I can't really change that. People are always going to know me as Lindy England. I think people really think of me as, like, the infamous Lindy England, you know. They, they think of me in a negative way. So. I didn't ask for the fame, but I got it. I'd really turn it over to anybody who wanted it.